family welcome back to another video different style of video today i'm trying something new for the channel i'm trying to switch it up you know elevate evolve not do the same thing over and over again i know you guys are tired of seeing my face on a phone screen vertically so i, I want to you know upgrade evolve change it up a little bit but i got my microphone set up i'm recording my macbook screen and today I'm just going to do, you know, something lighthearted, nothing too crazy. I just want to go on Pinterest and look at spiritual memes with you guys and get a good laugh. I have uh, Reddit also pulled up here on the, on, the, on the other tab, just in case we want to look through that Reddit and, uh, you know, browse. So, yeah, man, sit back, enjoy, and let's, let's have a good laugh. Let's, let's check out these memes. What do we got today? When you're an empath... And everyone feels compelled to tell you their whole life story. Now, this is true. This is true. Like, people just want to come up to you and tell them every single thing about them. They want to tell you what they've been through. They want to tell you their current their current state of mind. They want to tell you how well they're doing. You're doing how how well they're doing financially. Like. Me personally, I don't mind because I like, I, I just like talking to people. I like conversating with people. And I always feel like you can learn something from anybody you talk to. So, I mean, to each his own, but I could see how it's frustrating. Let's check it out. Let's see. When he's cute, funny, and isn't a hoe on social media, I must have you for my own. Yes, this is me. This is me, but I'm not going to lie, I do have an Instagram for my barbering account, and I do have Facebook just to connect with my family from across the country, but I am not a hoe on social media. I don't even post myself. I don't even post my personal life, so I like this one. I like this one. I've, I've never seen uh, Napoleon Dot. Napoleon Dynamite, right? That's what the movie's called. I've never seen it. I know it's on Netflix right now, so I should, I should probably watch it. You know, get some more culture in me. But haven't watched it. How I sleep at night, knowing I've let go of everything and everyone, no longer match my vibration or contributing to my greatest good. Zero fucks given. Yes, sir. You always want to let go of the past. Always want to let go of what doesn't serve you, what no longer aligns with you. So I like it. Bear with me. I don't. I don't know what type of vibe I'm giving off. I don't know if it's awkward to you guys, but this is my first time doing like a a different style of video. So I'm trying my best to make this entertaining and somewhat watchable. So universe, send me a sign so I know which direction to go. Send 25 signs, angel numbers, and a fucking billboard. <laughs> Can you send me one more just to be sure? This is facts. This is facts. We've all been there. We've all you know, wanted to take that right into this, uh, what am I saying, wanted to take that step into the right du direction, but you just don't know for sure if that's really the direction you want to go, but you keep seeing signs and signs and signs and angel numbers and people keep telling you in person, hey, you should do this, but in the back of your head, you're still like, no, I just need one more sign. Yeah, I relate to this. I relate to this. When you've experienced a soul lesson for the 15,000th lifetime and it finally clicks. Yeah, I try to learn from other people's mistakes so I don't experience it for myself. But sometimes you have to experience it for yourself regardless. <laughs> How can you call yourself a light worker and use such foul language? That's why the fuck your throat chakra is blocked. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> I like this, bro. Sometimes, I don't know, like, you can't, I can't really, what is it doing right now? Hold on. Okay, all right, never mind. But when you figure out dimensions are not places or locations, they're levels of consciousness that vibrate at a certain rate. Each dimension vibrates at a higher rate than the one below. In each higher dimension, there exists a clear, wider perspective of reality. A greater level of knowing, we experience more freedom, greater power, more opportunity to create reality. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's all I gotta say. I don't even think, these aren't even, 
this is not what I'm looking for. Oh, I see some good ones. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is me. This was me like a couple of nights ago. I was just like looking at my birth chart, looking at my navel chart, looking at you know my moon in sign, my my rising sign, my my sun sign, all that stuff, and it does start to make sense. I'm not gonna lie. I I look, listen. Anybody watching this video that doesn't believe in zodiac signs and astrology and all that stuff, be open to it, alright? Don't look at it as a end-all, be-all. Look at it more as like an outline, and then you just fill in the blanks your own way, you know? There is some good valuable stuff inside of uh, astrology. I will not deny that. When people arrive at my home in a low vibration complaining about what's wrong with the world, yes! We don't do that here. All right. I agree. Anything in this house stays in this house. Anything that's happening outside of this world stays out there. I don't need to know about it. I don't need to be aware about it. It's good to be in a loop of things, but I don't need to be aware of every single negative thing that's going on in the world. I don't need to know when a celebrity dies. I don't need to know when, you know, uh, 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 you know, a shooting happens. I don't need to know when uh, a school got sh like. I don't need to know these things all the time. So I agree. People want to come to your house, or just come up to you in general, want to talk negative, and it's like I'm not on that type of time. <laughs> How I sleep at night, knowing none of this exists, nobody belongs to me, and people's actions are merely projections of their own issues. Yep. I've seen this before. Yeah, this is true. Because it's that it's it's such a surreal moment when you realize that everything you've been taught, everything you've learned, everything you've been conditioned to do, everything you've been programmed to believe is a lie. So once that veil is lifted, this is how you end up being, like this girl right here on the bottom. And I felt that. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> when you meditated, rolled it around in the grass, fun naked, and drank 10 liters of beet juice, but you're still not grounded? Please help. Bro, why you gotta do Will like that? That's such a good movie too, Pursuit of Happiness. That's such a, that, that's such that that has nothing to do. It does just just because you throw the the word meditated in there, it's a spiritual meme. <laughs> Come on, and grounded. Let's see, I seen another. I seen Fifty Cent here. What, what's going on? I just seen Fifty. When he didn't understand why the universe was. Merit, mer Merit mercilessly ripping your life apart mercilessly ripping your life apart but then it all starts coming together and making sense yeah keep faith walk by faith a secret society controls the world we are multi-dimensional spirit to be in a century is false religion is a lie we are astral travel through realms that's a dream my friends yup yup although I do feel like me speaking for myself I feel like my friends are starting to pick up on it more and more as the days go by, but yeah, I definitely relate to this one. Okay team, we've sent her five angel numbers and a total of six synchronicities. She's downloaded and channeled her next steps twice now. She said it out loud. She, loud. She's recorded it in her fancy ass journal. I've got five dollars and her doing the opposite thing. What's your bet, Frank? <laughs> Bro, right. It's funny because like the most high, your spirit guides, angels, whatever you want to call it, they can send you all the signs in the world, all the synchronicities, everything. They could show you everything that you want to see, but yet you still won't walk down that path because, I don't know, I feel like people just want what they cannot have. And when they feel like they can get it, 
like that, like just like overnight, I guess they don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even want to say that. Just people are, I guess, unsure with themselves and they don't want to commit to decisions. I don't know. But enough with this. I don't, I don't know. I'm not really finding anything too, too crazy on here. Let's go to, let's go to Reddit, see if we find anything interesting. So I'm on Reddit right now, Spirituality, uh, Reddit, and I just filtered it out, put top of all time, and we're just going to see what we find. Give this enough vote if you think our thoughts create a reality. Yes, sir. I don't even, I can't even upload it. <clears throat> don't know who needs to hear this, but you're doing exceptionally well and you are on the right track. Thank you. I appreciate that. Keep up the good work. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I can't upload. Oh, oh, right here. I've never used Reddit on a desktop. So. I can't help but feel happy that the world is actually slowing down for a change. There seems to be uh, a little dated. A little dated. Just a little bit. The meaning of life is just to be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple, yet... Everybody rushes around in a great panic as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. Hence why I'm sitting here right now recording a YouTube video. But, but, I mean, I won't necessarily say it's out of panic. It's more so out of... Just wanting to do whatever I want. And, 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 I mean, that just goes back to the first sentence. The meaning of life is just to be alive. I'm alive. I'm living. I'm doing what I want to do. So, I don't know you, but we're in this together, and I love you. I love you, too. Dasan Man 69 Hi, you. Exactly you. Scroll no further. I mean you. All, all people. You're a good human. You are beautiful. People are really nice in this Reddit. I like that. You are exactly where you need to be. I like that saying. I say it all the time. Everything is unfolding perfectly. For I'm sorry, there's like something in my corner, corner of my eye. Everything is unfolding perfectly for your soul to have the precise experience it has always wanted. There is a deep purpose to it all, and you can't fully understand right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, every day you're getting a piece of the puzzle. Every day. It's starting to make more and more sense, and 10, 20 years from now, you're going to look back and it's all going to make sense as to why you went through the things you went through. <coughs> the effects of being raised by conscious parents. Okay, I want to read this because I can kind of relate. I feel called to write this to share with any adults who devote their time to spirituality and have went, want, kept have want kids. I'm 17 and I'm about to be a senior. My parents are very conscious and present day to day. They take time to meditate, read, explore, travel, eat, clean, exercise, spend time in nature. They keep open minds as well as keep the communication between us very open. They expose me to so much cultural and religious diversity. I couldn't begin to explain how ahead I feel having parents like this. I notice that my peers and teachers often tell me how emotionally intelligent I am. I get compliments from teachers daily commenting on my intellect, boundaries, social skills, self-awareness, communication skills, and most often how I navigate my way through conflict and relationships. Raising your kid in a spiritual way is all about showing up for yourself in healthy ways. Your kid will learn so much better watching you than listening to you. Teach them to question everything and have mature conversations with them early on. They are smarter than you think and they will be so intellectually inclined. Having held such mature conversations from a young age, I love it. I love it. This is so facts. Yeah, I mean, kids are open vessels, right? They're going to copy every single thing you do. They're going to emulate every single thing you do, your actions, your behavior. They're going to pick up on it subconsciously and they're going to start to want to do it because you are the person that they hang around the most. You are the person that they spend the most time with. So, naturally, they're going to copy you. So, yeah. And and I feel like this goes to saying, like, don't force things down anybody's throat. Pause. Like, you have to let people 
pick it up on their own. You have to lead by example and kind of just show people yourself rather than telling people and, and making people do things. I mean, this is different because it's just talking about the relationship between a kid and his parents. But still, like, as parents, I feel like you shouldn't really force a way of thinking or, or force anything onto a child. I feel like you should just let the child kind of think for its own, you know, make up its own conclusions. And, you know, that's not saying, that's not saying, you know, be ignorant and and be dumb and, and make irrational decisions. I'm, I'm talking about like, just like, be open-minded. Find out things for yourself. Don't rely on somebody else for the answer. Don't rely on your own understanding, you know? Hear from other people. Here's other people's perspectives. So, I agree with this. Like, not to ramble, but let me, let me reread this. Teach them to question everything. Yeah. Yeah. Teach them to question everything. Teach them how to have mature conversations. Um, and yeah, like, just leading by example. You can't make anybody do what you want them to do. But over time, as you're consistent with your lifestyle and you're consistent with the things that you do want to pass on to your kids, over time, your kids are going to look at you and be like, all right, look at my father. He's been meditating for five years. He's been doing yoga for two years. He's been taking spirituality very serious. And I kind of want to do the same. I kind of want to copy him. I kind of want to see for myself whether this is beneficial or not. So I agree with that. And with that being said, I think I'm going to end the video like that. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video. Again, I apologize for any technical difficulties, anything, you know, out of the out of the ordinary, anything weird. Um, I try to make this an entertaining video, something that you could watch, something that's not boring, but I'm trying to switch it up, you know, do new things on the channel. I don't want to be so one dimensional and, you know, only record from a phone. Like I, I want to, you know, do some things, be creative and really test my skills. So that being said, if you guys left this video motivated, inspired, or a better person, or if you had a laugh, a good laugh, you learned something new, then I did my part. Other than that, peace, love, positivity. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Peace.